Fluorine is too dangerous for us to handle. To compare the reactivity of the other halogens, we can see how they each react with the same metal. This is iron wool. For it to react with iodine, it's placed above a few crystals in a boiling tube, in a fume cupboard. Heating the iodine turns it into a vapour. A Bunsen flame gets the reaction going. After several minutes of strong heating, only a small amount of the iron has reacted. It's become coated with reddish-brown iron iodide. Put bromine in the tube instead of iodine and it immediately vaporises. Again, the iron wool needs heating, but not as much. This time, there's an easily visible reaction. A mixture of unreacted bromine and brown iron bromide pours out of the tube. Bromine is more reactive than iodine. It's above iodine in the periodic table. Chlorine is above bromine. So how reactive will chlorine be? The apparatus on the left generates a stream of chlorine gas. Concentrated hydrochloric acid is slowly dripped onto potassium permanganate. This time, the iron wool needs the slightest lick of a flame before a violent reaction races along. Clouds of pale yellow iron chloride quickly form. Chlorine is very reactive, but which halogen is the most reactive? 